Hey guys, so it's been a little while, admittedly, uh, but Mark and I finally got around to watching Friday the 13th Part 8, eight. Yep. Jason Takes Manhattan, and at least for me, I don't think it's as bad as I was led to believe. <laughs> I've been I've been talking a lot of shit about this movie for a while, and it starts uh, off it, shittily, I'll admit. It does not start off very well, but it's a film that gradually gets better what? throughout. Here's the problem with this movie. It's not any specific thing. It's that, like, the overall picture just doesn't work. Oh. Um, first of all, like, the concept alone. Um, Jason gets brought back to life by, like, an electro like, cable underwater that, like, these two people are fucking in a boat and they drop anchor. And I hope it's the joke. Like, I really hope it's the anchor for some reason starts like tugging on this electrical yeah. cord like, while they're fucking. Yeah. He's like, why is it moving like that? And I made the like, it's the motion in the, the ocean, ocean joke. <laughs> and I hope that was the intention of the joke because it's terrible. Um, there's no reason for it. Anyway, it was like only like electricity for whatever reason flows only out of one side of this thing <laughs> and goes like directly into Jason. Who revives and him. We revive Jason again. Yeah, again, and, again. Uh, like this, and then apparently everything that happened in the last one with the whole uh, psychic, the shining kid is gone. Like, yeah, well, I mean, that, that the whole they, they reference it by where he is because yeah, he's that, covered in the dock. But that's it. But that's like, there's no other reference to it at all. Uh, they did have a version of this script where Tina came back, but the money, of course, became a thing, mm -hmm. and yeah. like it didn't happen. They probably should have done more of a rewrite because this chick in this movie. Is basically her. Rennie, yeah. which I like the name Rennie. Yeah, because apparently what you said is she has some sort of psychic yeah, connection. Yeah, she's like emp empathetic or whatever. She has empathy and, and she like and, sees. Yeah, and um, not only does she see memories of like we these weird flashes of Jason. Like Jason being like, like save me mommy. And, so like, does drowning. everyone else apparently. Yeah, the like, fucking dogs. Like, like the, the dogs. The first like, vision we get the dog reacts to her vision. And he like, it's like, oh, fuck this, I'm out. And then at one point she relives this weird memory where creepy uncle um, pushed her in the water and she walks over to him and like, you pushed me in the lake. And he just immediately says, I'm sorry. It's like, not like, what and, the fuck are you talking and about? And then the lake, just, well, I'm sorry. The like, she was totally watching boyfriend it. dude was like, so, yeah, yeah you messed her up. Yeah, he's like, how, how could you what, do how that? How do you, know, like, what situation are you watching that you just jump into that and be like, I think, yeah, I, I know think, where I am in this I think situation. everyone by that point yeah, had the all, heroin. Yeah, we all, they all had heroin. <laughs> She's got AIDS. And, so the point the point of the film is that this this high school prom thing and they and a, get and a boat goes from a lake in New Jersey to Manhattan to, sort of. well to wherever the first boat takes off from yeah, some exactly. other point on the Atlantic yeah. Ocean and Jason somehow Jersey. gets onto this boat and kills them all or almost all of them they escape and then they get into Manhattan and a few more die first of all a movie called Jason Takes Manhattan <laughs> despite take. being the longest fucking movie in this series it's probably 100 like minutes 25 minutes of actual Manhattan and actual Manhattan and being a, Vancouver. Yeah, it was shot here. You see like Granville Station and the Sky Train and like a whole bunch of other Vancouver stuff. Um, they had two days not in a actual whole, Manhattan. Yeah, two days in Manhattan, which you can tell like they shot it in Times Square. Yeah, that was it. It's cool. My biggest problem with this, and again, it's, it's one of the things that detracts from this whole movie for me is Jason, and we talked about it a couple movies ago where Jason's finally undead in six, mm -hmm. yeah. where like, Technically, he hasn't died yet. No. Jason, he might be slightly supernatural up to a certain point, and he comes back from the dead, and he's basically a zombie. Mm -hmm. This movie, he's literally, I mean, a I know, like, the wizard. video game, like, you can teleport in the video game, that, like, the new one that came out. Yeah. And I guess this is where they got it from. I actually couldn't remember any of this. Because this, literally, he fucking gets everywhere. At one point... Creepy uncle gets into a building through a like a closed door. He's being door. chased. He's being chased by Jason. Yeah. He runs. He's running away, looking over his shoulder. Oh yeah, like, that really oh, ter oh, terrible. I mean, that guy's not a horror actor, so like maybe he's just never run away from anything in his life because you could tell. And uh, he like so runs bad. upstairs and then he gets thrown out of a window by Jason. Yeah, and then it's like, <sighs> damn, how the motherfucker get there that fast? And if he's not teleporting, he's busting up boxes or like, <laughs> yo, motherfucker, kicking down yeah, a door and whatnot, <laughs> and. But here's the thing, though. The movie, again, starts off not very good. It's very boring. It's it's very rudimentary. The kills aren't that very interesting. But then, it's a couple of, like, I think I like it's, the... it's right after the prom girl gets killed. It's when the prom girl gets killed. Yeah. 
that's when it actually starts to get interesting. The shots start getting creative. The kills sort of get creative There's some cool too. kills. I like when he well, takes the stone thing and he smashes it into yeah, the guy. Yeah, stuffs it right into some dude's chest. We didn't know. I oh, you He's know the guy what? Who got beaten. The Here's the thing, though. I bet you they put that on his face because they couldn't get the actor again for <laughs> yes, that day. So yeah. for some reason, he just has this cloth He's on his like face a, when during the sauna. sauna. Tell and we're him. like, why is he got the cloth I was like, on who his is face? It? Are we supposed is to know supposed who this to be is? the guy who got beat up in the boxing match? <laughs> but probably couldn't afford the actor anymore. He quit or something. But then, yeah, once the kills start getting going, then the creativity with how the shots are composed. It, it is there's well some shot. good lighting. There's, there's some great There's turns. also some terrible fucking shots, though. Oh, there's, like, oh, there's a few. It's inconsistent yeah. as there's, fuck. There's at one point where... Um, it happened at the beginning of the movie where he kills the girl in the box, and then there's this other time where, what's his name? Which it's, is a cool kill. Yeah, yeah, uh, as, yeah and there's one it. where this guy goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jason, and he literally punches him on this rooftop for what felt like two straight it's, minutes. It's and a, Jason, uh, the trivia has it as a minute and 16 a seconds. A minute and 16 seconds. Of just... Yeah, and that's it. Like, and, and the thing is, one, it goes way too fucking long, and two, they do a shot where... It's like on the other building rooftop, so it, it's it's a really wide shot. It looks super super silly, and they cut back to it three times. Yeah, and I was like, "What the fuck was this leading to?" And then he's like, "Take your best shot," and Jason just fucking whops that head right <laughs> off, and it goes into the, the dumpster the bin, dumpster and the dumpster closes. Okay. And I was like, "Okay, really long setup, but that was fucking funny." And that's where like. This is the time to talk about it. This movie, for whatever reason, it's throws funny. like humor into it. There's like when Jason first does the impossible swim from the boat that they like like rode slowly through fog through for like yeah, a just, time lapse. Oh, and then like he's just they get there and he's like right out of the water, like right after them. But he gets up to the top and like there's the billboard thing where it's with like the hockey mask, basically the Rangers, but with like the colors and the words changed to like yeah. East East Hockey, hockey League, League or something, yeah, like, something like that. Whatever, but it's like the mask and he turns and looks right at the camera. Yeah, and it's a joke. And, and then, then there's another one where he turns and went ahead. And then there's one, probably the best one, which again is completely a break of character. Yo, man, it's cool. It's cool, man. It's cool. Super, it's, yeah, it's very funny. Great it's, shot, it's, great it's, turn. Really funny. Complete break of yeah. character, but just a. That's a fucking great part in that movie. I don't it, it's funny. I really I, it's like got that moments. part. And I, I rewatched it. We replayed it. Just. And I like Kane Hodder. And he really does. Like, I mean, there's a reason everyone considers him the best. The best Jason. He's he's got a he brings a uniqueness to this character. Like, I really like C.J. Graham. I like I actually like most of the guys who yeah. play Jason. I think they get the like he, that shape concept. He has um, the, down, the brutality, but he, he definitely he, has like, the he menacing ups the brutality figure. in this. Yeah. Like you and can he's savoring it. He's yeah, like, yeah, it was, yeah, Jason kind of likes killing people in this. Like he's he's not just a killing machine. He's he seems a little. It's a little more slasher killy. It's a oh, little more. Oh, for sure. It's more. It's there's more like violence to the action as opposed to the violence of the action. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm oh, not yeah. sure if I can make that distinction. Well, no, yeah, he, sense he, here. he's he's kind of embellishing. He's. Dramatizing these kills. Yeah. And yeah, so like you said. Breathing a lot. Yeah, and a lot of breathing for a dead dude. Um, <laughs> so that's the thing. Like, there are some, there's a lot of pros, a lot more pros than I thought there'd be. There is some negatives, like I said, really weird bad shots here and there. The story writing is terrible. At one point, uh, the main girl is kidnapped by two drug dealers, one of them being Michael Benyer, the voice of Bob. Very, very good. Good. It's literally a terrible. <laughs> a terrible kid like scene like the, everything's terribly written about it and then all of a sudden she just gets injected with heroin it's like yeah baby you like which this. really has nothing to do with no, the rest no, of the movie no like she doesn't come down from the heroin they don't talk about the most likely she contracted AIDS HIV <laughs> something. something terrible and yeah. then she kisses the other guy and what did I say it's like <laughs> oh oh shit dude you got HIV too now it's uh <laughs> She also, uh, our main character fucking kills someone in this that has nothing to do with Jason. Yeah, like, her she has teacher. a hallucination of seeing Kid Jason again. For Which some is reason. a really oddly well-edited mix of using car oil and water. 
very interesting. At first, I was like, what the fuck am I watching? And then I was like, oh, wow, that's, that's actually not that's that bad. But that's the after. Because the edit when she hits him is fucking terrible. Oh, it's terrible. Like, it's terrible. this, like, weird slow motion <laughs> jerky thing. And, like, they go to the kid and it's slow motion jerky on him. It's fucking awful. Oh, it's terrible. Um, but she hits this barrier and everyone gets out except the one teacher. And the teacher was like, Jason didn't do anything there. Like, this hero, our fucking yeah. heroine in this movie, just, and, and who, it's our like, heroine who just did heroin, fucking... <laughs> Kills her own teacher, and she doesn't even slightly care. slightly indirectly. But yeah, she barely reacts. And, it, and she ex- talks about her dead parents. Like yeah, they got in a car accident. It's like, don't worry, won't we'll let it happen again. It's like, like uh, you just, just did. Just killed someone in a car just accident. Did. <laughs> and at first, I was like, maybe like, what did they lose her? Like maybe they couldn't get her more for scenes because that's maybe they just cut yeah. her out or something it's, like that. It's weird because it's it, like the only three of them run out, and you're like, wasn't there? And then they like they seem to remember too late, and yeah. you don't see her in the car at all. The car just no. the cop car just explodes. And and that's the thing with this film. It's a, it's an incredibly mixed bag. Like the first quarter of the film is terrible and very boring, but then it kind of does this. Like this yeah. is it. And it's got play, it's got cool shots. Bad. It's got some funny, although like character breaky jokes. Oh, uh, it's end. got some interesting kills. And the worst thing in this whole the ending movie. is it dumb. First of all. Toxic waste dumps through the New York City <laughs> every s- sewer system <laughs> like it's a thing people know. It happens every night at midnight. <gasps> we didn't talk about There's a doomed guy in this one. Oh, He's like yeah. a crazy decade. He's like, you're all doomed. It's and like, he, if you're, did he die? I don't think so. They, there's so many people on the boat that they don't show die. There's that like one thing where he's like, there is no more restaurant. And you're like, wait, what? Yeah. Weren't there like 50 kids on this boat? Yeah, like, there, was a, there was supposed to be a grad prom, yet apparently it consisted of like eight kids <laughs> and two teachers. Yeah. Um, and a dog. And, and a crazy deckhand who... Yeah. You're doomed! Like, he doesn't just say this and once, he, he says he, it like ten every times. Every time he pops, he pops up like yeah, ten times in the movie just to be like, you're doomed, and Jason's gets, coming and to kill you! more and more crazy each time. This movie oh, yeah. is so the toxic waste dump through this, and it like splashes over Jason and like melts him and turns Lights like, him on fire and he screams. Like, it's and terrible. It's, it's like, weird it's like one of those three different edits all over top of one. It's not a good edit. It's fucking bad. Like the guy, I think the editor probably was like, hey, I got this to work really well with the boat kind of looking like it was rolling on the oil. I'm going to try that with Jason. And it's like, no, dude, that it didn't was work. That garbage did not work. And then for me, the, the scene that, if not the whole series, definitely shatters the fuck out of this movie. Jason turns into his kid self. And he's dead. And, and he's naked dead, little maybe and ish. But they leave him there either way. So that if it is alive, he's dead. Soon. The dog's okay though. Yeah, the dog comes back. They like keep bringing the dog back over and over again. Um, so, yeah. Not sure why. It, it's yeah. This movie is definitely. It's, it's kind of like they wanted it to be the cat from Alien. Oh, uh, Jonesy. But they suck. Yeah. It's 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 a very strange movie. I would say it's definitely. It's definitely probably one of the better shot ones when it's when great, it's good when it's good shots. It's the Dan Cloutier of shooting because sometimes it's fucking great. The rest it's just fucking terrible. That's a great reference. <laughs> so, anyways, for your for your score, what are you gonna oh, give? Dude, this is this is just a two for me. I don't really. Like this, I don't like this movie. It's got moments. I'm gonna give it a three. I do not. Wow. This might be. It a, happened. Yeah, I was gonna say. This I might was be more only positive about it than you were. That's in, the, this in, is like, a rarity. The, uh, this this a, might be the entirety of our thing. It's the first time you've rated a movie higher, higher than, than you. Than that's I, that's rare. That I I actually I didn't mind this movie. I thought it was actually pretty good. Yeah, every now and again, you're, every like now and again, you're just more wrong than usual. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, in comparison to the first few movies, like, dude, this movie actually had a fucking pulse. <sighs> Ken Kersinger, Jason. Oh yeah, Jason, Jason in the Fray vs. Jason. Jason. Kane Otter kill like throws him into a window in this <laughs> one. It's cool. Big ass motherfucker. Yeah, big, big he's chef. huge, dude. Yeah, like Ken Kersinger's like I've met he's way out of our frame. Yeah, that was the other he's, thing too. Like Kane Otter is only like five foot ten, so he like, does a pretty good job for a short guy. Yeah, technically short. Like, yeah, not I'm, I'm he's shorter short. than Ken he, fucking he's, Kersinger. He's taller than me, yeah. but like in terms of like when he was fighting he's other people, like he, right in the middle of us. I guess. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But yeah, he does. He's great. But it is fun seeing Ken Kersinger in this mm-hmm. movie because he kinda plays funny. Jason later. Yeah, that's and cool, uh, it, cool it actually it almost thing. feels like if this movie was made later, it would be an obvious reference that they cast this guy who played Jason. But it's not. It's yeah. kind of a reverse meta. Anyway, yeah. Bye. <laughs> See ya.